Yo, 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 hello guys and welcome back to NCAA Next 23. Um, we're here in week 8. Your Louisville Cardinals are on a two-week uh, or two-game winning streak. Offense is looking phenomenal. I don't think we can really stress that enough. I mean, they dropped a 42 bomb and then a 35 bomb. And the defense is right there with them. Now, I do think, you know, we haven't faced, um, you know, I don't, okay, one, we're not ranked. Uh, Louisville is not ranked after beating a seventh ranked team. NC State did fall to 15th. And, you know, a little upsetting for that. I, th I feel like we should be in the top 25, but we're not. But today, beating Florida State, I think will solidify a top 25 spot. I think this is going to be a harder team. An A overall defense, um, a B offense, uh, and so I think, I think we can compete though. I don't think that you know Florida State's a better team. Like I think this should be a close game. We are at home. I think we could win this game. We're coming off of two two game winning streak. You just can't take a team like Florida State, even though they're you know three and two and they are kind of struggling, just like we are. They are in the same boat as we are. So I think that's what's interesting here. Uh, they put up 33 points per game compared to our 20, 26. So that's a big difference here. I think overall it's going to be offenses aren't, you know, it's about a hundred yard difference, which is, you know, we do play shorter quarters. So I, I kind of tend to look at the points per game kind of thing. Overall though, I think this is a very close, this is going to be a fun game to watch. I, I think we can beat them. Um, as far as in-season recruiting goes, we're looking very good. We've kind of decided to just go for three at this point. I would, I like, I really want to get that five-star caliber recruit, uh, Tyler Gray. I want to go all in on him, and I want to go all in on Landon Moore because I think that's the one thing that has held us back as a squad this season is just the injury to our quarterback. You know, we're constantly, you know, the underdogs at that position, and I think a guy like this could change that. And we are in the lead by a far margin. So I'm. Uh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be interesting. And then left guard to help off with, to help out with the O-line. Tanner Kimber, he does look, he's a three-star, but still very big pickup would, for, you know, would help us. I'm um, in last week. Oregon was shocked. They got knocked off by their rival Washington, 48 to 42. And ultimately, it leaves us here with the top 25 being as such. Alabama, Ohio State looking at the both number one and number two spots. And we are not there. You know, our rival Kentucky, one of the teams that did beat us, is they felt they are moving up the charts. They are 10. They were ranked 10 last week. They're now eight. They're looking at possibly some... some you know, a national championship. I don't know if we can consider them that. They're 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 on the border though, for sure. But uh, I don't know if they've got it in them. I guess we'll have to see. Overall, they're playing really good. They they they're coming off of a win. Their last game they beat Georgia, 35-28. So Kentucky, man, keep an eye out for them. Georgia falls uh, from that, and now they're hanging around down here. Overall, though, we're not ranked, man, which is. They're going to have to start putting some respect on, on uh, the Cardinals, man. On the Louisville Cardinals, all right? This is what the schedule is looking like for the remainder of the year. We have a pretty... I will, I'm not going to say weak schedule, but, you know, not nothing too hard. I think Syracuse could be a difficult game. Possibly Virginia Tech, even though they look good on the numbers, but they're just not performing in-game. They're 1-3 three, three right now. We do have Clemson, who is looking around an average to us. There's not t no team really that we're really like scared of. Wake Forest, though, I will say, they look good this year. They're they're you know they're top ten ranked team as of right now. So I think we could really finish this year off strong, guys, and make a push for. I mean, I don't want to get ahead of ourselves. I don't know if it's too late or not, but you know, I'm not even gonna say it. I think we got good potential, though. We're 2-0 in the conference. Let's go ahead, get into this game against Florida State, and uh, let's get it, man. Hope you guys enjoy. A 
Hey, football fans, Brad Nessler here with my partners in crime, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. And it is perfect football weather here for today's matchup between the Florida State Seminoles and the Cardinals of Louisville. We're near the midpoint of the college football season, and these two teams are battling for position in the ACC. And here come the Cardinals. Neither team seems to have an advantage in this game. Kirk, how about your prediction? Louisville has an impressive-looking young man at wideout. Watch for them to go to him early and often in this one. He's the big play man in this offense, so look for him to step up and be the difference. I picked my winner this morning. Here we go. I'm going my alma mater. Yo! Florida State. All right, we've heard Lee Corso's pick. Now let's take it down to the field for the action about to begin. Here's the coin toss. Number nine fields it in the end zone. Take over at the 24. Florida State comes to the line with three wide. Travis back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Found his man. Tackle. Move those sticks. That's a first down and a great catch, too. Did you see how he looked that one in? Oh, there's no doubt about it. He can catch the football. Travis drops back, looks, steps up in the pocket, got him again, and down he goes. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. It's first and ten, ball on the 19. The Seminole come out in the ace formation. They'll throw on first down. Looking. He's going left. Brings it in. Touchdown. Terrific pass, and the wideout hauls it in for the touchdown. Brad, the wide receiver's route was the key on that play. You're right, like Kirk. This route running really has improved, and the quarterback has been throwing his weight a lot more. Backfield. They go with the run. Got some open field. At the point, they'll bring him down. And that was a nice run. Look, that was a great job by that. The cards come out in the ace formation. Jordan on the handoff. He breaks free. With the spin, he jukes. He's all the way down to the 32-yard line. An amazing run. This kid was moving. Wow. That is a good looking at. No kidding. This guy goalie getting the ball down the field. You got that right, Brad. These guys had better step it up and execute when they have the ball, or else it's going to be a long day. Again, he'll get the call. He spins. And they make the stop. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. The big on the offense. Conley steps back to pass. Rolling out to the left side. He's got an opening. Complete, and down he goes. A few yards, that's a six. Conley lines up in the shotgun. They snap it to the back. He might have a chance. And he's hit hard. Picked up a first down. They get inside the red zone. Hey, when they get close to the goal line, you can count on some kind of score. They never come away empty-handed. Louisville sets up with four receivers. Conley to the air on first down. And it's caught. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're Shotgun formation. Let's see if they run the draw here. Jordan 
It's another carry. Touchdown, Louisville! Nice little run there by the halfback to get in for the score. Turner is lined up to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Ward fields it at the seventh. They move the ball very effectively. At Florida State comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Travis still has it. He's looking. He lets it go deep down the middle. Griffin with the interception. And they threw. They'll be called for an infraction. That will put them back a few paces. Man, the coaches are going to have to talk to these young guys about committing unnecessary fouls. Louisville goes with the ace set here. Drops back to pass. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. I think the offensive line missed a block there. Somebody did. It was like a jailbreak up front, and the linebacker will get the credit for the sack. The cards with four receivers. Red 24. Cut. Conley set to go to the air. Chucks it deep down the right side. And he can't make the catch. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. Florida State comes out in the shotgun, setting up the play action. Great concentration. A yard, if even that, on the play action pass. The Knolls line up with four wideouts. Throws down the middle. He tries to spin. Broke away from one. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. Six DBs in the lineup. He steps up. Long ball, right side. Someone got a hand on it. And the safety got a hand on it that time. Ace backfield. Travis, hands off, right side. Tackle. Eight yards on the counter there. And that's the end of the first quarter, and we've got a tie ball game. Takes a handoff, and he's taken down. So he got a few yards on that carry. You know what, guys? If you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that, you can really start to wear a defense down. Travis, back to throw. Looks. He's going long. What a close call for this defense. Travis drops the throw. Throws it to the outside. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. Go for it. He drops back. Wants to throw outside. And it's intercepted. That last INT gives this defense two on the day. Not a good throw there. The quarterback needs to make better decisions. Single set backfield. Inside give. And they make the stop. And he gets the first down. They come out in a nickel. Jordan again. Shifty move there. He has some room. And he's going to go to the 20, to the 10. Goodbye. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Well, it doesn't look like it's too serious, guys, but you never know. Sometimes those small injuries turn into seizing-ending ones. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Number nine, back to return. Here's the kick. Ward fields it in the end zone. I'm sure the coaches talk to his team about now. They'll start this drive at the 22. Florida State comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Travis drops back with the throw. Picks it off. He's got some blockers. 
Touchdown, Louisville! And that is not what they had in mind. Coach. It was simply a bad play. Turnovers are bad on their own, but when you add to the fact that it resulted in points for the opposition, uh-oh. It's third down and three to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. One man backfield. Travis makes a handoff. Throws this one out to the right. And it's incomplete. Now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect. They'll throw on first down. He's looking. He rolls out to the right. Under pressure. They'll make the sack. He'll feel that one in the morning. You bet he will. I mean, just look at that guy that sacked him. He's a monster. Conley drops to throw. Throws down the middle. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. And Louisville lines up in a shotgun set. Conley back to pass. Looks under heavy pressure. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Florida State holds a timeout. Cut. 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 Nice play fake, and it falls incomplete. Yo, you can credit that incompletion to the pass rush. Great job of not letting the quarterback get comfortable back there. He didn't throw a good pass at all. No, that Kirk. He was under pressure. Unbelievable pressure. And they have three receivers bunched. Third and short, and they hand it off. And down he goes. Florida State takes a timeout. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. Ace backfield. Travis drops back. Steps up. He's looking for his man. He gets another, and this is a big one. Wow, an almost impossible pass to defend, and it goes for six. Yep, the defense would have needed 12 guys on the field that time. They're lining up in the 5-2. Evans gets it on the inside. Has some daylight. Brown. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Our halftime score, Louisville, 21. And he's going to come up with a sack. What do we have, Lee? We have sack number four today. This defense came to play, and I love it. Ball on the 17. They'll work from the shotgun. Conley drops back to pass. Rolling out to the right side. He's looking deep down the left side. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit. They'll give it off here. Bounces off the would-be tackler. And he's taken down. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Florida State comes out in the shotgun. Throws in a hurry. Incomplete. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know. Travis steps back to pass. Here they come. And they get the sack. The fourth. The Cardinals line up in an I formation. Jordan on the give. Missed tackle, and he's hit hard. 20. 20 Conley lines up in the shotgun. Conley back to pass. He's looking. Throws to the middle. Hudson drops it. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time. Guys. They'll throw on first down. Throw. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high, and that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. Travis, back in the gun. Let's it go. And it's caught. Loose football. And the defense is on it. And a big change in momentum right here, Kirk. And you know what? When the other offense takes the field, I say they go for the home run on the very first play. I like your thinking, Kirk. They always say a defense is most vulnerable after a turnover. That's right, Coach. If I were calling the shots, that's what I would do. Hot, hot. They'll throw on first down. He passes it. Complete, and he's on the run. And he's all the way down to the 17. Wow, nice catch. Way to look it in. Heck of a job by the wide receiver. These guys are moving the ball down. The One man backfield. Conley gives it up the middle. He's into the open field. Touchdown, Louisville. Very impressive run by the half. 
back to find the end zone. Good play call here by the offensive coordinator. He realizes when you get down into the red zone and you have a halfback like this, just give him the ball and let him find his way into... Travis drops to throw. He's got to throw it in a hurry. And he's going to be sacked. The defensive end showed his athleticism getting to the quarterback. When you send blitzers like that, you try to confuse the offensive line and get someone free. Well, the only one confuses the quarterback because he wants to know why they let the big guy be the one who got free. I doubt they put the ball in the air in this situation. Back to pass. Short toss. Complete tackle. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on their own 11. Florida State goes with the ace set here. Drops back to pass. He steps up, looks. He goes downtown. And that one's fallen incomplete. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven. They'll throw on first down. Throws it to the outside. Completes. It Conley set to go to the air. He's rolling right. He keeps it. Got an opening. Cooper with a takedown. He gets it up. And it's good. Ward gets the carry. Clark brings him down. That'll be a gain of five. Three wide outs here. He's hit and got away. He breaks free. And he's taken down. And that one goes for a big, big first down. Watch the linebacker. He's the star of the defense, and he's in the zone right now. The handoff on the counter. Sheds that one. Brought down. One man backfield. On the ground with the tailback. Tackle. He picked up a first down on that run, coach. Yep, and you know, if you can pick up a few more first downs on the ground like that, it will really open up the play-action pass. Florida State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Clark with a takedown. A five. Travis drops back to pass. He lets it go, and it's incomplete. The wide receiver wasn't able to hang on. Well, you talk about a solid hit. This guy is a true enforcer. Travis drops back, and here's a quick throw. He has him on the fly. He goes down. So on third down, they pick up the first and a lot more. When that kid caught the ball. He wasn't thinking about first down. He was thinking touchdown. Have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. This impact tailback would love nothing more than to have the ball in his hands right now. And he's got it for the touchdown. You know, Coach, the one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. Yeah, and he's done that three times today. tailback and he's taken down Florida State takes a timeout Conley back to throw looking here's the long ball left side calls it in for the touchdown he's on a different level than everybody else coach. and he sure is my friend this kid is a real deep threat he can stretch the defense and cause a lot of problems for the secondary Bill lines up for the kickoff. Number nine, back to the and he got all of this one. Great kick. Ward fields it in the end zone. Tries to juke. This is where I look for the defense to clamp down after some sloppy tackling the last time. They let this offense run all over them, all the way to the end zone. And I don't see that happening again. First and ten. Ball on the 28. Travis, back to pass. He's looking. Comes across the middle. And it's caught. Brought down. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. The Seminole come out of the ace formation. Ward on the give. He's hit and got away. Harper brings him down. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there, running the football by this guy. Louisville comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Breaks one. Tackle. A nice six-yard gain by the tailback there. Six on the play. 
The Knowles come out of the ace formation. Jones brings him down for a loss. That blitz couldn't have worked any better for the defense or any worse for the offense. Third down and four coming up on this one. Ball on the 40. Florida State calls a timeout. Travis drops to throw. Looks incomplete. Pressure that time, and he was forced into throwing before he wanted to. Wow, the kid just avoided getting smacked on that one. Yupu. They'll bring him down, and he just gets it up for the first down. Hello. That'll get your heart beating. Florida State goes with the ace set here. There he goes. Harper with a takedown. Nice game for the halfback. That time they kept it on the ground with the counter play. The blocking was great up front, and the tailback was able to get into the open field and do some special things. Florida State comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Here's an opening. Brought down. That's now 100 yards rushing on the day. Brad, that's just hard-nosed running, and it gives them another solid day at the ballpark. So their last red zone visit resulted in a touchdown. Let's see if the defense can hold them this time. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. Ace backfield. Makes a move. Touchdown, Florida State. Good looking run as the halfback found the end zone. He sure did. Took the block. And this one's all wrapped up. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? Well, it was a pretty good game by both teams. But I was really impressed the way this game was won. Louisville came out here very focused, and they took care of business. Nice, nice win for this football team. Well, that'll wrap up another chapter in NCAA Football 2006. And our final count, Louisville 38, Florida State 28. For Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler with our final goodbye. We'll catch you next time. Man, oh man, guys, what a damn game. That was a good game to watch. I'm glad that, you know, our defense came up, came to play. I would, honestly, just a short takeaway here. I'm not going to uh, spend too long on the mic. We won in sacks. And we won in the biggest thing, turnovers. If we did not have these turnovers, I don't think we're winning this game. This was a very sloppy game from Florida State, and that's why they fell. This is a, a game that they could have won, but interceptions killed them. And uh, we got to get better at, at you, you know, making people pay on turnovers. Um, you know, the last touchdown that they got, I, I did throw in the uh, second team, all team, you know, second squad or whatever sub. So, you know, we got to get better at third downs and uh, just making people pay on turnovers. But I'll take how we're playing right now over anything else. We're playing good, protective football. We don't have a quarterback, so we can ex expect this mediocre play. Even though I think Conley is holding his own out there. But it's jo Jahar Jordan, who is the man. Dude, this kid, he's a sophomore. He's out here running like this, man. Um, the run game is what's going to get us to go farther. Uh, we can't rely on the pass game. Yaya had a good game. Uh, Kendrick Duncan and Minkins and Griffin all got interceptions. Griffin got a broken thumb, was out for the game. But he will be back. Wrap that hand up. He'll be okay. Either way, this was a really good game. I think Florida State played sloppy, and that's why they lost. We end up dropping another 35-plus bomb, 38s this week. Defense not where we want it to be, giving up 28 points. But they got turnovers, and that's, you know, it was enough today to get us the win. Overall, we end up beating Florida State 38-28. to I'm proud of this damn team. Let's go out here and, and start making people take Louisville seriously. I do think we got to take them seriously now. Um, they're out here. They're winning games with backup quarterbacks. So, hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was actually one of my more favorite games I ended up playing so far in the series. I've loved all these games, but this one by far was really fun. It was wild. And uh, I enjoyed it. Hope you guys did too. I'll see you on the next one.